Hi, boys and girls. We are going to do some cross number puzzles. These are super fun, but um, we have to be really good mathematicians when we do this. So each row and each column adds up to 20. So let's look. We've got some numbers here. We have 14. So we know this box because this row here has to add up to 20. So we know this would be, get my pen out. This would be, I know something plus 14 would equal 20. So let's think, what can we add to 14 to get to 20. I can start at 14 and add up 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. How many did I add up? One each time, right? How many times? That's right, six times. So six plus 14 equals 20. So I know a six goes there. So let's look at this one. This box here is missing right here. So I know 14 and how many are here? Well, this is a 10 frame, isn't it? And if one side of that 10 frame is filled up, I know that is 5. So what is 14 and 5? It's 14 and 5 more. Well, I know that 14 and 6 more were 20, so 14 and 5 more is 1 less. So that would be 19. So what number would go in this box? Well, this whole column here has to add up to 20. So I know I already have 19. So I just need one more. Very good. Do you think we can find this box? So I know this whole row has to be 20. If I had 10 and 10, that would be 20, but I still have this one. So I know these two boxes together have to be 10 because this third box is 10. 1 and 9 make 10. Very good. What about this column here? If this box is 10, that's correct. This one has to be 10 because that has to be 20. We have one more empty box. What's gonna go in this box? Well, the box above it is going to help me because this column here has to add up to 20. So I'm thinking if this were 10, that would be 9, and that would be 19, and that would not be enough. But if I just had one more, that would make 20. So that's right, 11. And see, I know if I have 10 and 10, that equals 20. But if I have 9, which is 1 less than 10, but I have 1 more than 10, 11, that that also equals 20. Okay, here is another puzzle for us to solve. Now, I think I'm going to start here on this column. Here's 5. How many red dots do you see? That's right. So what's five and five? That's 10. 
So I know this one here, right above it, also has to be 10, because 10 and 10 equal 20. And if this is 10, what is this one next to it? Because this row has to equal 20. That's right, it also has to be 10. Let's see if we can get this row. You said there were five red dots. How many black dots do you see? If I had one more dot in here, those would both be the same. If it were five and five, that would be 10, but there's one less dot, so that's nine. So I have nine and five. If it were 10 and five, that would be 15. But it's nine and five, so it's 14. So 14 plus something, we need to have 20. Well, I know that four and six make 10, so 14 and six make 20. Great job. Well, that's gonna help me solve this next one because six and something have to equal 20. And I can write that equation. Well, the commutative property tells us that it doesn't matter which one we add first, I would still get 20. So I know six plus 14 equals 20. Great job. So now we have one more. We know this is nine. Nine plus something equals 20. Well, I know 10 plus 10 equals 20. But I know if I, so if I had 10, he, 10 here in this empty box and 10 here, but I don't. I would need 11. So 11 and 9 equal 20. Great job today, boys and girls, helping us to solve cross-number puzzles.